Hey guys, welcome back to the Confirmant Arm YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday and Monday. I know for some of you it is already Monday, but for me it's Sunday night. But nonetheless, you know, our week here in the crypto market has been kind of crazy. Getting ourselves back up into the uh, $21,000 range for Bitcoin. Finally getting a pop out of there up about, what, 25% for the week. It's kind of crazy. Uh, on the screen here, it is showing about 22 at the moment because, you know, that was our high. We hit about 25%. But nonetheless, crypto has done a nice recovery, but we're going to be getting ourselves into the price charts and kind of figuring out exactly what may be happening in the near future with them, either, you know, retracements or price continuation. So let's get ourselves into it in just a moment. But first, I will say thank you to all my channel members and all those people who like, comment and share my videos. You guys are absolute legends and those channel members themselves that are subscribed uh, you know, paying that monthly uh, membership to the Confirmant RM Army. Okay, you guys are amazing. I do appreciate that. But let's get ourselves into the price chart now and see what was going on. So get ourselves over here to Seifu. We can at least see Seifu has broke out of a trend that's been going since about the latter half of December, as you can see here. Uh, multiple retests on this single point, and now it has broken up. You know, we did our analysis here about two days ago on Seifu getting our you know our move up here um to around this 28 cent region and retesting like i was saying uh getting ourselves through 28 cents 28 and a half cents would yield us to you know some price appreciation and as you can see that is it, uh, you know what is playing out here you have a little sending line here have a little bit of a um a top here if you really want to do that and you can see we have the next price move that may be coming in the next you know day or so coming up here to around that 30 cent region but now it looks like since we're starting to rebound ourselves up it looks like we're going to get up to around that 32 cent region where we're going to retest the possibilities of um actually appreciating higher up to here or are we going to get stomped out and then pushed down lower because that may happen as you can see that that's been the trend lately just been kind of meandering downwards and as you could still see that would sort of play along with the longer term trend here to play the wicks of here if you if i can actually scroll this down a little bit you can see the longer term wicks would actually be around that same point um actually yeah i would say around that we have to see what it is on the daily but let's see you could it has been quite volatile um as you can see over here hitting on the first up here around 50 cents been falling back down but that's what I would be looking at next would be us. If we're actually going to be pushing to the upside, it would be getting through this 32 cent region. But as you can see, like it retested it numerous times here, a couple times here as a support. So getting through 32 would yield up to that 37 mark, which would be, you know, a nice little price appreciation to see because it's just been in a downtrend. Um, but realistically, Getting back above the 702 here and actually pushing to the upside would be nice to see for a reversal, but it would make sense holding that 0.5 uh, for continuation because you see it's been numerous back tests here. It has not broken that 23 cent low, so that's at least a good sign to make. It has not set a new low since it came down here in the middle of December. So it's been one whole month to the T, one whole month, and we're now uh, starting to push higher in quotations because you know we have to get through these technical targets with seifu but get ourselves over to bnb and such you can see bnb coming back down here uh tap on the back of this uh, one fib about 291 you know we were thinking around that because if we go to our one day uh you know this 200 day moving average was sitting there right about there you know it came within about four dollars of hitting it but you can see here the 20-day moving average passing through the 50 and the 100 days. So it is signaling for further price appreciation. But um, it did come down for some support. So we're going to go here on the uh, four-hour and see what we're looking at here. And uh, we can go off the bottom side of BNB here. Go off the top side of BNB right there. And you can see that it is moving its way, or at least trying to, to the upside for some price appreciation. You come here to here. We're going to see... Um, either a nice push up to this trend line here about 326 within the next day or two as you can see or we're going to see if if it's a little too over bought uh we're going to see a little retest pie down here to the 100 day moving average and look at that right to the t the 100 day moving average can be hit back again about 275 retesting to 786 so that's something to look out for if we start to lose around the 291 region or if we start to break 
um, this 20 day moving average here on like $300 so we can kind of get an, an expectation to come down to 291 and then look for 291 to come down to 284. Um, but basically if it does break that one level, we're going to, we're, we're going to look for that 277, but Ethereum, Ethereum battling that 3618 on this short term, uh, full extension. Um, you know, this is what we were to say a bullish, super bullish scenario would be coming back down and retesting for longer term appreciation, but it looks like it's really tr trying its butt off to try getting up there, uh, at a higher price level. But this is more of a retracement um looking coming in here because of this ascending triangle like this um i think it's only a 60 40 but it may i mean this would make sense though actually i'll rescind that this is coming out of an uptrend if you're coming out of downtrend and we're doing something like this then it will be more bearish but it looks like it's it's trying its heart out so i would think that this, this 649 looks like it's more likely than not and if we were to put this into a perspective, it looks around like Tuesday, Wednesday, that it may be coming to fruition. So ETH is looking for that 649, which as you can see, that was its fall number back in November. And that was its fall numbers all the way back here in July. So the 650, 640, 1649 is very, very crit critical and crucial. Um, obviously if it rejects from here, I would expect going back to about $499, $1,500. Um, at least to uh, 1464 for retest, but you're going to have to uh, definitely judge that because, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very volatile if it does fall through it. See, and a lot of other cryptos have uh, done their nice retracements over the weekend, uh, retested some moving averages, uh, and that's definitely expected after a crazy, crazy week. See what Flair's doing? Flair's just probably just going sideways. Are you just, are you just holding sideways, buddy? Yeah, absolutely. So get rid of this. Now, since we've had a whole week of FLR being out, it'll be a little bit easier to understand what it's doing. So I would say to the bottom here, and we're going just going nice sideways and um, sitting our head around that like 20 day moving average. There isn't much here on FLR to really understand at the moment. It's just in consolidation at the moment. It's just, it's coming down just Really, really nice, just sideways, just between the 382 and the 0.5 after hitting the uh, the 786. So we're gonna let it just chill out. I mean, you're not gonna see too crazy of an action, I don't think, if you were to even to, I don't even think from here, but it would be kind of like a sideways, very, very short-lived sort of fib like this, or this trend line, and uh, it would be, you know, up to around, what, six and a half, or retesting down here at the three, uh, two, three, six. And it, it ain't too much going on in FLR. Um, well, better part looking at Bitcoin, how's Bitcoin doing? Oh, Bitcoin doing the same thing, hitting its head around that 20,000. Uh, you know, it's like I said, this is looking for some sort of continuation here. It's definitely, you know, this makes sense out of here out of the daily. Cause you know, this is our short term. We were looking at this since what late December until, uh, you know, we broke out here, but wow. Um, just absolutely demolishing out of this short term fib. That's, you know, very nice to see nonetheless though get rid of that real quick now we can see our uh short-term targets here our longer term rather and uh you know we have our wall right here and we have our sorry our, rather our ceiling and then our little what's going to happen you know we're looking at around like what twenty two hundred dollar you know it, it, it's it's fighting this uh twenty one thousand three hundred and twelve high that it had made in november and you know that that does reside around that august and does reside around here in july this is just a very confluenced region it's, it's all the way back there so you're at a, a really interesting point right now with with bitcoin you know you see this this is a high you know this was here around november when the fall ensued so we're going to be looking for either a for it to just retest bounce off and come back down and kind of repeat some sort of situation as this but in like a reverse stance so you know it'd be coming back down doing some sort of this and then coming back up or will we see Bitcoin do something sort of like, um, you know, just absolutely plow through it, come back for a back test on top of this high and then push forward to this $25,000 region. You know, I know everyone's saying that, you know, they're expecting some sort of, you know, in the two, three months for that to happen, but we're right there right now. Bit could Bitcoin do that? You know, it just did a complete W bottom. <laughs> to a T. Um, so this would be our confirmation that we're not just going to go lower. 
um, we need to see how this price point plays out. Um, if we are to fall through this region and just start to retrace downwards and, um, you know, re retest down to the 17,000 region, you know, then I'd be kind of uh, scared. Uh, because that would not be anything like we've seen before. This is typical. This is a typical W bottom right here. Look at this. It, it's, it's taken a while to play out, but as you can see, typical right there. We're right back at that line. So what we'd want to see is a push upwards, a hold on top, and then kind of a push out. You know, the length of the W. That's typically what you do. You know, this length of W push out. You know, I, I maybe not to the T. That, be, that might be quite a bit. You know, actually, yeah, right there. As you can see around that twenty five, twenty seven thousand dollar region. So that would be, you know, nice to see. But you know, we have to, we have to look out for that. We have to look out for it holding twenty one thousand uh three hundred and twelve or if it's gonna come back retest. Cause it, that's also not bad either if it winds up re falling through here, retesting around uh this twenty thousand dollar region and then flying back up, hit getting some confluence again and then flying up to this twenty five thousand dollar region as you can see we have that like that, that, that speculative movement by the end of the month maybe it takes it a little bit of time right here at the top of the w to kind of move itself over but definitely something to kind of keep in the back of your head but nonetheless i think we kind of went through everything actually X xrp we gotta look at that uh xrp doing what we thought you know we were saying we were on that criti critical crucial point of you know it, it did a lot in a couple days too it hit itself around that 40 cent mark and uh you know it, it it rejected kind of expected as it has in the past you know it's a lot of confluence in that region and it was super super overbought as you could tell it was here in about the 78 82 range and it came back down to the 702 for support so that's okay us uh, seeing here with the 702 support can solidify for further price action but we get ourselves here kind of grab ourselves a little fib go across actually maybe not that it'll be a lot shorter lived probably something smaller like this i would say like that and uh from the bottom side we would be using something sort of like this and we would have a little length of here as you can see now it'll be coming for up for another retest of it you know by midweek you know actually about monday tuesday of next week so we're gonna have to figure out how that plays out or you're gonna want just retesting back down to the 382 i'm sure yep right down there and uh and the point five it has come back into this confluence region from where it broke out from uh you know right here otherwise uh it's gonna be an interesting week this is a very important week coming up with bitcoin seeing how the rest of the market decides to hold itself uh from its breakout does it wind up retracing another like 10 15 percent in order to solidify you know a bottom or does it wind up uh, pushing up higher or does it just push sideways there's confluenced regions because everyone thinks that you know uh it's just a fake out and we're just going to come back down and that and you know the bull run's not going to happen um if many of you have been following and being a part of the crypto space you know for the past three four years you'd understand that um you know the max sentiment seen in bitcoin is back in 2021 uh not in november but that of april all the indicators of wallets moving money from exchanges you know max amount of wallets coming on the bitcoin uh, accumulation and uh, off-ramping Bitcoin from the exchanges was all back in uh, April. So that makes sense. Uh, the numbers were kind of more, uh, I would say, a lot slower and a lot less of volume coming in for Bitcoin when the high was hit in November of 2021. Um, but we did hit a new high, but all the macros were kind of showing that our price chart, uh, you know, was just running out of steam. But at the moment, you can see XRP is just trying to get to the top of that trend line. That just as we make it, it just flashed, hit it, and came right back. So we're getting there. But nonetheless, guys, remember at the end of the day, none of this is financial advice. Remember, this is my own opinion on what the crypto charts are doing and, you know, what I believe is going on in the crypto sphere. So remember, do your own research and definitely seek you know lots of outlets for determining uh you know your own financial positions in all of these cryptos thank you guys uh thank you guys for sticking around for the 15 minute video hope you guys have a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are enjoy your monday and i will see you guys later tomorrow night have a good one